Hi everyone, this is the second grade enhanced math week 14 division with remainder solution video. Problem one, there are 27 children. A van can hold six children. So how many vans are needed to take all of the children to a retreat? As we stated above, a van, one van, let me write one van, can hold six children. Six children. Okay, so let me write this meter. So one van can hold six children. So let's start writing it out. We have the first van, so one van. And then at the bottom, we write the accumulated amount of children. So the one man can hold six children. The next van, two vans, can hold another six children. So that gives us 12 at the bottom. We just add up the children at the bottom as well, equals two. And then that's the um, total amount later. And then we add another van, so three vans now, because obviously six plus six is not enough since that's only 12. So we add another six, which gives us 18. And then we add another van, so four vans, which gives us another six. And as we see here, there are 24 children. And then we add another one. So let's add another one. The final one, five vans. And finally, this gives us 30. Because as you see here, five sixes added together gives us 30 children, so 30 children. And this encompasses all of the 27 children that are going. So one van, although we'll have three empty spots left over, this will still take all of the 27 children to the retreat. So therefore, the answer is five vans. Problem two, Eric spent four days hiking to a lake that was 23 miles away from the starting point. For the first three days, he hiked the same number of miles. For the last day, he hiked less number of miles. If all the numbers are whole numbers, how many miles did Eric hike at least on the fourth day? So Eric spent four days hiking to a lake that was 23 miles away. So we write here, here's the lake. So let me draw the lake. The lake is in blue. So we just write lake. And then the black represents the path. And then this is starting point. So starting point, starting point. Okay, and it says that he spent four days hiking to a lake, so let's just divide this into four sections. And it says for the first three days, he hiked the same number of miles, so same number of miles. Same number of miles. And then on the fourth day, it's less than the other ones. So all we have to do is divide 23 by this three number of days that were the same first. So let's see the most of what we can do because it asks us what's the least that it can do on the fourth day. So therefore we have to divide it by the most for the first three days. 23 divided by three because there's three days equals two seven with a remainder of two left over since seven times three is 21. So 21, 22, 23, there is a remainder of two. So therefore he hiked seven miles on day one, two, and three and hike two miles on the last day. So two miles on the last day. Problem three, what is the largest number that is less than 50 that has a remainder of three when divided by six? Okay, so for this problem, let's write it out. What is the largest number that is less than 50 and has a remainder of three when divided by six? So this number also, when divided by six equals to something, remainder three. Okay, and let's start to solve this problem. So obviously we need to know that this number, um, in order to be less than 50, we need to see the largest number that it can be divided into six by. So we are first know that maybe it could be 48 because 48 is the closest number to 50 that is still divisible by six. But then it says that it has a remainder three. So in order to have a remainder three, we need to add on three to 48, which gives us three, but that is exceeding to 50, which is 51. So therefore it can be 48. The next number six times seven gives us 42. So 42 plus remainder three. So we have to add another three, which gives us 45. And that fulfills the requirement of it being less than 50. And also 45 divided by six equals two seven with a remainder of three. So therefore the answer is 45. Problem four, kittens A, B, C, D, E, F line up to receive dried fish from the mother cat in turn. Starting from A, each kitten receives one at a time and then goes to the end of the line to continue to queue until the dried fish is delivered. 
The mother cat has 57 dried fish and the last kitten to receive the dried fish is. So the question is, what letter is the last cat to receive dried fish? So we see here that the first one obviously receives the first piece and all the way to the last one. So B receives the second piece, C receives third piece, D four, E fifth, and F sixth. So this pattern continues as to A receives the seventh and B eighth and so on. So this pattern is six. Sorry, this pattern consists of six numbers. So the mother cast 54 dried fish. And since there are six in this pattern, we just do 57 divided by six equals to nine and something remainder. Since we know that six times nine is 54, so remainder of three. So then we work from the front to the back. We see that A was the first one to receive the dried fish since the pattern continues after the cycle is done from the ninth turn. So remainder of one, we just go A, B, and C. So therefore, what was the last cat that got the fish? The answer is C. Problem five, find the first positive integer that has different remainders when divided by two, three, four, and five respectfully. Hint, try numbers within 30. So this question is asking us find the first positive integer that has different remainders when divided by two, three, four, and five. And we are given to try numbers within 30. So that basically means try numbers from one to 30. So that's the range that we're working with for this problem. For this problem, you can just try different numbers from 1 to 30, and you can each try them out to guess and check the answer. And eventually, when you reach the number 27, that should be your answer. So for example, we do 27. 27 divided by 2 first, let's do 2, that gives us 13 with a remainder of 1. 27 divided by 3 gives us 9 with a remainder of 0 because that fits perfectly. 27 divided by 4 equals to 6 with a remainder of 3. And finally, 27 divided by 5, which has 5 and remainder 2, which is all different remainders. So therefore, the answer is 27. For this problem, you just guess and check. Problem 6, the first 85 numbers are arranged in the following pattern. 1 with its own bracket. 2, 3, 4 with its own bracket, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 with its own bracket, and 10 with its own bracket, and so forth. What is the sum of numbers in the last parentheses? We see that there are 85 numbers total, and that in each cycle, there are 1, 3, and 5 numbers in the parentheses. For example, the first number in the pattern has one number in the parentheses, so we write 1, so let's write 1. And then the next one has three numbers in the parentheses, and the final one has five numbers, that this pattern just repeats. And in each cycle, there are nine numbers. So nine numbers per cycle. Okay, and since there are nine numbers in the cycle, and since 85, because that's the numbers, total numbers arranged in the pattern, divided by nine, this gives us nine, because nine times nine is 81, with a remainder of four, remainder of four. From here, we can work backwards because since the first 85 numbers are arranged and it says to use the last two parentheses because there's no place for five numbers since four is less than five. So therefore we can only do one and three numbers. One plus three equals to four. So we just do 85, 84, and 83 for the three numbers in the parentheses. And finally, the single one is 82. So the sum of the numbers in the last parentheses, we add this all up. This just gives us 252, the sum. Okay, and that is problem six. Problem seven, I have five colored disks in a pile as shown. I take the top two disks and put them on the bottom with the red disk still on top of the blue disk. Then I again take the top two disks and put them on the bottom. If I do this until I've made a total of 21 moves, which this will be on the top. For this problem, it basically says that whenever the first step of the pattern is to take the top two discs out of the entire stack. So with the red and blue at the bottom, so red and blue, red and then blue now at the bottom, this gives us, hold on, let me cross this part out. Let's cross this part out. This would just be the first step. And then we just write first step first step. And then the second step would just be to take the green and yellow down. So the green and yellow would now just be here. 
So green and yellow. And by the way, different colors represent different steps. So the first step would just be black. And the second step would be this red color. So now we cross this out. So we bulge this part out again. And then the next step, the third step, and let's write it in blue, would just be orange and red. So we write orange and red. And then red, we just cross it out like this. Okay. And that would be the third step. The fourth step, let's write it in green, would just be blue and green. So blue and green. And then finally, the fifth step in yellow, we just do yellow and orange. So yellow and orange. And as you can see, we are back to the original pattern, which was red, blue, green, yellow, and orange. So there are five different steps to this pattern. So therefore, since there are 21 moves, we just 21 moves divided by five. That completes a cycle, which gives us four with a remainder of one. So which this will be at the top? Well, we since we have one remainder left over, we just find out that it is green. Green because the remainder one, that would be one maneuver, which takes out the red and blue. So green would be exposed to the top. And final problem, a problem eight. A grasshopper wants to climb a staircase with many steps. She makes only two different jumps, three steps up or four steps down. Beginning at the ground level, at least how many jumps will she have to make in order to take a rest on the 10th step? See the figure below. Let's write all the information out. We get that A equals to number of steps the grasshopper goes up. Grasshopper goes up. And then the B equals to number of steps the grasshopper goes down. So the opposite goes down. OK. And then A, which is has to be a multiple of three since it says three steps up. So A, which is a multiple of three minus minus B, which is multiple of four, because it says four steps down, has to equal to at least 10 because it says in order to take a rest on the 10th step. So 10 steps. Okay, and then we see that the smallest combination would just be 18. So A equals to 18 minus A, which is B, equals to 10 steps. And since 18, and since 18 equals to 3 times 6, and then A equals to 4, 8 equals to 4 times 2, the total number of jumps would just be 6 plus 2 equals to 8 jumps. And there's your answer for the last problem.